Hello you lot, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith and today I'm going to do a little Indian vegetarian, possibly vegan, curry. I'm going to make aloo gobi and some chapatis to pick it up with. Before I do that I want to do some shout outs to some new Patreon fans. There's Henning Volkmer and there's Chris McPhee. And there's also Southern Boy Cooking, who made a spectacular contribution, which is more than welcome. Thank you very much. And also, mustn't forget, Heather Linton, who actually requested this dish. So, and only, what, a couple of months ago, so I'm, I'm, getting, a, I'm getting a bend on here. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, uh, make a donation, become a patron, all that lovely stuff, and I'll love you forever. <laughs> Honest. Okay, so... Let's get on with it. I did a video for this about five, six years ago, um, but it was the sort of British Indian restaurant style with uh, like a tomato sauce and stuff. Um, and I wasn't actually mad keen on it, but just in the course of looking up alternative recipes for this one, I, I came across the idea of the uh, Punjabi style aloo gobi, which doesn't have the tomato sauce. There's no tomato at all, really. And it's quite dry. So it, it it sounds appealing, it does sound appealing, it sounds like it's going to taste of potatoes and cauliflower and I like those. I start by making the chapati dough because it needs to rest for at least half an hour before we start using it. During which time we can make the aloo gobi. So you're going to need 200 grams of flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, 150 ml approximately of warm water and a teaspoon of oil. This is sunflower oil. Uh, now the flour uh, it should be, ideally, a thing called atta, which is chapati flour. And I, I've seen it many times in Tesco, in the local supermarket. So when I went this morning, I made a beeline, and um, they do have it in sacks of 10 kilos. <laughs> which uh, I, I would never get through, I, I don't have anywhere to store it. So I'm having to make do, and I've found a website that tells you the different combinations of possible flours and what the results might be. So the second best combo is one quarter wholemeal flour and three quarters bread flour, which I think it means white bread flour. And <laughs> so what I've got is wholemeal bread flour and white, plain white, all purpose flour. So I'm gonna use half and half of those and keep my fingers crossed. So mix all the dry ingredients together first and then add the water. Don't chuck it all in at once. You might not actually need all that amount. Did I put that? I don't think I put the oil in. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, it's optional. If you do put the oil in, your, ch your chapatis will stay softer longer, I think. Alright, so some flour on the worktop. And we have to knead it for about five minutes. We're aiming to develop gluten, so we want stretch, elasticity and smoothness. Even though this is a kind of flatbread, it's not, uh, we're not expecting it to rise or anything because there's no yeast in it. Reckon that's done, so I'll wrap it in plastic film and just let it rest on the side for about a half an hour. I'm gonna... Ingredients for the aloo gobi. You need potatoes and cauliflower. Get your cauliflower sorted out first and then get an equivalent amount of potato. These are Mary's Piper's waxy potatoes. Right, completely optional, some garlic. Uh, some ginger, about you know, about a thumb of that. Two or three green chilies, a small handful of coriander, cilantro, a medium onion, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of turmeric, one tablespoon of cumin seeds, and if you like, a pinch of asafoetida. I've had this a long time. And I just had a whiff. Normally it's pretty pungent, but this this uh, seems to have lost it. So. I'm, I'm just going to chuck some of that in just to get it used up. Now we need to prep all these veggie tubbles. I'm going to mostly peel the potatoes. I, would, I think I'll, I'll leave a bit of skin on just to show willing but 
as you may know, I'm not, I'm not very keen on potato skin in certain conditions. So I'm just cutting off the sort of grotty bits. Now we need to cut the potatoes into chunks about two and a half centimetres, an inch, kind of bite sized basically. Now we'll cut the cauliflower into florets, a little bit bigger than the chunks of potato. I'm going to squash the garlic and uh, chop it fine. Okay, then the ginger, just chop that off and you can actually peel it with a spoon. So just finally chop it and you could use ginger garlic paste if you've got any, I've run out unfortunately, so I've got to do all this work for me. Finally chop the chilies and peel. and slice the onion. Okay, over to the stove, we're ready to start cooking. So I've got a pan on medium heat. I'm going to add the oil. And when that's warmed up a bit, I'll add the cumin seeds and the ginger and garlic. And let those cook for a couple of minutes till the seeds have started to brown. Then we'll add the onion and the salt and we'll let that cook on low heat with the lid on and we'll have a look every few minutes, give it a stir just to make sure it's not sticking. When the onions are slightly caramelised, add the green chilies and stir them in, let them cook for a minute and then add the turmeric, not turmeric, turmeric. You can also put your asafoetida in if you're using it at the same time as the turmeric. Some people say asafoetida aids the digestion and other people translate that as meaning stops your farting. I don't know because I never do that anyway. Let that cook out for two minutes and then add the potatoes and the cauliflower. Stir them well, get them as coated as you can with what's in the pan and then turn the heat right down, maybe even move it onto a, a lower burner with the lid on and leave them alone for about 15 minutes, then have a look. Poke them with a fork. If the potatoes are soft and giving, then you're more or less done. Otherwise, keep on cooking and, you know, check it every couple of minutes. And while that's cooking, we can get on with the chapatis. We want chapatis that are 15 centimetre round, about six inches, and so that means they need to be between 40 and 45 grams of dough. So I've weighed what I made, I got 388 grams. And if I divide that by nine, then each one needs to be 43 grams. Okay, I've just weighed out six balls of dough. Now we'll roll out the chapatis. So just take a ball of dough, flatten it slightly. On some flour on your worktop and your rolling pin and just Roll it, turn it a little bit, roll it, turn it another little bit, and so on until you've got a circle that's 15 centimetres, 6 inches. You, you can get special chapati rollers which are much thinner diameter and shorter than this, and they kind of taper at the ends so you don't get that and banging on the table all the time. And I wish I had one, I think I might get one quite soon. So the aloo gobi is um, coming to the end of its second 15 minute period. So it's just about getting cooked. So I'm going to shove that onto the back burner. This is a cast iron griddle plate. You can use a cast iron skillet. You can use just an ordinary frying pan. In India you would use a tower, uh, which is a, a very shallow dish of steel. When it's hot we put one of the discs of dough on it. And after like 30 seconds to a minute it should bubble a little bit, turn it over, it'll bubble some more and um, turn it over again and it should puff up into like a football if you're lucky. 
And now it's taste test time with Mrs. Keith Cooks. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! I'll shut up. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Ooh. Ding. <gasps> oh, that smells wonderful. Oh yeah. Big soft tatey, big soft cauliflower. And that wonderful smell. Yeah. Well, that was very delicate. <laughs> we watched MasterChef right the way through, and honestly, it was it was watching artists at work in the end. It was it, just But none amazing. of them could do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. If I must. You must. Cauliflower. Dislocated my hip. Oh, all kinds of stuff. Oh, maybe tea. I was off yesterday because it was a bank holiday. Oh, my leg. And um, <laughs> I went with Keith to yoga. <laughs> we it was, it was great. I haven't been for three weeks because holiday and uh, she'd been ill. But um, mm. yeah. <sighs> Christ. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. This is very, very good. Ooh. It needs to go with something, doesn't it? Oh, see, well, that's, that's starch and starch. I imagine I love, I love homemade pancakes. Yeah, I'd probably put some um, chutney or something in. Oh, yeah. With those. that. They're in the fridge. Aha. Uh -huh. um, they're not pancakes, they're chapatis. Of course they are. Silly me. I'm going to get that flour and try again because I'm not massively happy with it. What flour? Atta. Chapati flour. Mm. Which Tesco sell in 10 kilo bags. Mm. I could eat 10 kilo no, of chapatis not. over the year. <sighs> well. You've got to work to get a figure like mine. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. Good, good, good. Okay. All right. All good. Mm. Happy New Year. Make it. Thanks for watching. And see you next time. See you next time.